In the Bible's classic statement on government, Romans 13, Paul assures the little church in Rome, suffering under imperial Roman government, God gives government for our good. Given what we see in perhaps all governments, it is perfectly reasonable to wonder what he meant by that. If I put soup in front of you and said, eat, it's good for you, and it gave you a sharp pain in your gut, you would wonder if I really understood soup or what is good for a person. What is good about government, all government? How is it supposed to be good? What is it for? What is it not for? That is, what is its proper use for our benefit and blessing, and its misuse that actually brings harm and suffering? And how does God give it? In short, what is the basis of government, its purpose and limits? And why is it always a problem? And what should we do about it? This is a book about the godliness of political life, the goodness of political life, and how it can go terribly wrong. And it's a book about how good and godly citizens can help keep it right for everyone's blessing. I'm David Ennis, and my latest book is Christ and the Kingdoms of Men, Foundations of Political Life, available wherever good books are sold.